In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the clipboard in Microsoft Excel to manage all the items that you've copied or cut in the spreadsheet. Let's get started. So here I have a list of fictional students and test scores, and as I've been working on this spreadsheet, I've copied and cut several times. And every time I've copied an item, it's been put in this mythical place called the clipboard. And as you probably already know, once you've copied something, you can then paste it from the clipboard by holding control and tapping V on the keyboard. That pastes whatever your most recent clipboard item is, whatever you've copied or cut most recently. Now that brings up a problem. What if you want to reuse something that you copied five times ago or 10 times ago? Well, the clipboard can actually help us with this. If you go to the Home tab on the Home ribbon in the Clipboard group, we often use this group to copy, cut, paste, or use the Format Painter, which is amazing. If you're not familiar with the Format Painter, please watch my videos on that topic. But this Clipboard group can help us with even more. If you click on this Dialog Box Launcher, or what I like to just call the Launch button, click on that, you'll get a panel that opens up that shows your clipboard history, and then you can select which item to paste into your spreadsheet. So I could select this emoji, and it's pasted into my spreadsheet. I'm gonna click next to the emoji, and let's say I want to paste in this piece of data here. Again, I can just click, and it's pasted into my spreadsheet. I'm gonna undo that by holding Control and tapping Z. But as you can see, every item that I've recently copied or cut is listed here in the clipboard, and I can just select whatever it is to add it into my spreadsheet. Now, as you're using the clipboard in your spreadsheets, if you decide that you're never gonna use a particular item that's in the clipboard, you can put your mouse over that item and click on the button with the arrow just to the right of it, and you can choose Delete, and it removes that from your clipboard history. Now we do have a couple of options here in the lower left corner of the clipboard panel when it's opened. You can click on Options, and if you want, you can turn on this setting to show Office Clipboard automatically. So with this checked, Microsoft Excel or Office is in charge of deciding when to show the clipboard panel. If you uncheck that, the other option is to show Office Clipboard when Control-C is pressed twice. I'm going to turn that on, and I'll close the clipboard. So now, as I'm using my spreadsheet, let's say I decide to copy this range. I select it, and I hold Control, Tap C. But if I tap it twice, the clipboard panel opens up, and I can see everything that I've recently copied. We do also have the option to collect without showing the Office clipboard. I don't use that option, but if you don't want to see the Office clipboard, that's an option that you could use. If you decide you want to just clear out all of your recent clipboard items, you can just go up here to the top of the panel and click Clear All, and it's completely cleared out. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the Thanks button below the video, or by supporting me through my Patreon account, or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. I appreciate you very much. Thank you so much for your support.